All right. Welcome to our Tuesday night Zoom. We do this every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's about 30 minutes and we like to build a little belief. We like to uh, give you strategy to work on for the upcoming week so that you feel equipped and prepared to share on social media. And then we like to either share about the products or have someone come tell you a story about their personal use with the products. So that is what you are going to hear tonight. We have an incredible lineup. We have Senior Gold Ambassador Jenna O. Oh. She is a CNA full-time and in the nooks and crannies of her life. She does this plexus thing with us. She's been with us for a little bit now and had a wildly successful 2021, 2022. And that's how she went senior gold. And she is back at it. We got to do a really fun Zoom call today to make some goals for this year. You're going to hear about her reset testimony tonight. So while she talks, I'm actually going to screen share. It's something we haven't done in a while. I'm going to screen share her results. Because while she's telling this story, I need y'all to see the impact that having a reset, however often she's doing it, she'll share that, is having on her health. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share that. Jenna, feel free to unmute yourself and begin. Hello. So as Emily said, my name is Jenna Olala, and I'm a senior gold ambassador, and I've been with Plexus for a little over three years now. And Emily asked me to come on here tonight and share my experience with the reset. So when the reset when the reset was first launched, I was super excited about it. Um, I had been in a really bad rut and I felt really stuck with my weight loss. I had gained some weight um, after getting pregnant and experiencing a miscarriage. And it was really struggling to get back to where I was on my weight loss journey. It was also like in the middle of summer and I had started to get more relaxed with my health because I was busy enjoying summer. So the reset came at a perfect time for me. I'll admit I was a little skeptical at first because I'm not new to fasting. You know, I've done fasting and intermittent fasting for a long time and it didn't make sense to me that I could eat throughout the day and still get the same results as a hard fast where you can only have water. But I trust these products and I trust the science behind it. So I was all in and ready to give it a try. Um, I remember my day one of the reset, it flew by. Um, it was actually pretty easy for me. Um, I even struggled a little bit to get everything in because I was so used to not eating breakfast or lunch, but I just adjusted and fit everything in a little bit later in the day. Um, and I know some people had initially talked about not caring for the restore that you drink at bedtime, but I had it like a hot tea and absolutely loved it. It was so enjoyable to have the tea right before bed. I felt so relaxed and ready for bed. Day two, I woke up and I felt great. I felt like I had the best night of sleep in my life. Um, I, I just woke up with so much energy. Uh, this That's kind of when I knew that the reset was a little bit different than the other fasts that I've done. Um, I couldn't wait to weigh myself that morning, you know, so I hopped on my scale and I already lost a couple pounds. So that was perfect. I was pumped. I'm like, all right, this is doing something. So the, I remember the afternoon rolled around and I was starting to feel a little bit hungry. Um, I was just so happy that I could chew on that matcha bar, <laughs> but I had my soup a little bit earlier in the evening because I was still feeling hungry. And then I started getting those negative thoughts kind of creeping in, telling me that I wasn't going to make it through three days of this and just telling me to give up. But instead of giving up, I decided to drink a big glass of lemon water and it helped so much. Uh, after my water, I just made my restore and I went to bed early. Um, day three, I woke up. I felt really great again. I slept so well and I even lost a couple more pounds. So that was a bonus. Um, I had all kinds of energy, and then I was just motivated to see this thing through. The hunger kind of crept in throughout the day on day three, and I kept just drinking my water and telling myself that I can do anything for three days so I can get through this. Um, I, I could also see a difference in my body, and so could my husband. He mentioned, he's like, you look so different. So there were definitely big changes happening. Again, I had my tomato soup and a large glass of lemon water at the end of the day, and then had my restore right before going to bed. And I just remember thinking when I was getting ready to fall asleep that I could not wait until tomorrow so I can eat whatever I want. <laughs> so 
but I woke up the next day and hopped on the scale and I found out that I'd lost a total of 12 pounds in that three days. And I was just blown away. I also didn't wake up super hungry. Um, so that was a huge bonus. So instead of going and eating whatever I wanted on day four, I was more motivated to stick with some of the habits that I had learned with reset, including starting my day with hydrate, prioritizing lean protein. And I'm not even kidding. I craved a salad. Like all I wanted was a chicken, a grilled chicken salad. That's all I wanted. <laughs> but so that night as I was preparing for dinner, I remember my daughter wanted to share some candy with me. So I grabbed a piece and I tasted it and it just tasted different. Like I didn't even want it. It was blah tasting and I just, I didn't want it. So then that was big to me showing me that there were some kind of changes happening. But since then I've consistently done a reset about every six to eight weeks or so, kind of depending on what's going on. And each, each time I've noticed uh, significant changes in my body. Um, and so have other people around me. And I also noticed that the reset seems to get easier each time that I do it. I get less hungry when I'm doing it and my body seems to respond quicker when I do them. So there's definitely compounding results that are happening. Um, I'm, I haven't always been perfect. You know, I've, I'm a real person. You know, I've enjoyed myself on special occasions and I've been on vacations where I've enjoyed myself. But the resets have really helped me to kind of get right back at it after overindulging, helps me get back into the consistency. Um, since my first reset, I'm consistently about 15 pounds lighter than before I started using the reset. And I'm just so happy to, that I can have it in my toolkit. So if you haven't tried it yet, you need to, because it's been a huge game changer for me. I mean, Come on now, come on now. Did y'all see those side-by-sides of like her waist shrinking, your legs, your face, your neck? Like, I know I was screen sharing and some of you didn't have your video on, so you didn't know that. But when you watch the replay of this, look at those results. Go follow her on Facebook so you can see what I'm talking about. Jenna O, you are complete living proof that when you stick with something and you're intentional with it, you're going to have that compound effect. You're going to see those results. You guys know I love me some reset, but sometimes it's super annoying to hear the same testimony. So I was like, we're going to find a new one on our team to show these people that this works. So thank you for boldly sharing tonight. I'm so proud of you and so thankful that you were like, check this out and letting me blow your body up real big on the internet. So thank you for sharing that. <laughs> um, Somebody said, does the weight loss from doing the reset come back afterwards if you stay on your supplements and healthy eating? Jenna, do you want to answer that? I've noticed you definitely get what you put into it. You know, there's been times when I've done a reset and haven't been consistent about what I've been eating. I'm always consistent with my supplements, but I've noticed if I don't put in the work in between, it's not going to, I'm not going to keep losing weight, you know, yeah. but when I've been consistent with it and kept with it. I, I do keep the weight off. Yeah. I think a lot of women and y'all, y'all know this, especially for my level one, if you are over the age of 25, you have got to prioritize protein and complex carbohydrates. You just have to, you need the carbs for fuel and energy, especially if you have children. Hello. Uh, and then you need protein because it takes your body longer to digest that. And it's good for you. It keeps you satisfied and fuller. It helps your muscles. So Amanda, to answer your question, if you eat lots of Taco Bell in between your resets, you ain't going to get the results you're looking for, sister. But if you are doing what you're doing, which I've seen the plates that you post, you have very balanced plates when you post your meals and stuff on Facebook. I think you're doing a great job. Keep doing that. And if you get bored, ask me or a sideline for some recipes. Uh, I don't know if Brooke Lee Burger's on. I think she is. She posts some of the most amazing recipes. Leah Weldy does too. She, they always are like sharing all the fun food ideas. Um, I, Leah was making her kids lunches the other day and she had like Greek yogurt with like crushed Oreo or something on top. And I was like, my kids would eat that. They don't know that it's good for them. They just see the Oreo on top. Right. So totally taking that protein hack for myself and my kids. Jenna, thanks again for sharing. If you are in the chat, go tell Jenna oh, how awesome she is for sharing. We love when people share. All right. Next up. Oh, I muted myself. Sorry. We have a uh, diamond emerald, Trisha Rigger from, where are you from, Trisha? I always forget. 
West Virginia. West Virginia. Thank you. West Virginia. And I love Trisha one, because we're entirely different in every way, but she has taught me so, so much over the last couple of years. If you follow her on Instagram, her Instagram handle is clean house with kids. The irony in that just brings me so much joy, but she teaches you how to uh, minimize your, your home and the things that you think you need when truly you can live with so much less, but she teaches you to do it in a realistic way with her a million children. She'll tell you a little bit more about them in a minute. And I say a million, she doesn't really have a million. Uh, to me, it feels like a million, but so do my three kids. Um, but Trisha is amazing. Um, not only do I refer to her at, in her amazing jewels as like the Instagram jewels, but they have built Instagram empires. I'm so proud of them. She'll give you a little bit of her backstory here in a minute, but yeah, my team loves following you. And I was like, you know what? Bring it on, Trisha. Tell us the things, light a fire under our rear and tell us a little bit about your backstory. Okay, that was super, super sweet. Uh, we actually spent last weekend together, which was... You're muted, you're muted. I don't know where you went. There you go. That's so weird. Here I am. You're good, you're good. Okay, Emily's first question was, where did I come from? So I was one of those people, you guys, that started off as a preferred customer. I actually wrote to the girl who is now my sponsor. And I said, I don't have a lot of money. What do you recommend? And so she um, she suggested that I start with pink drink. So I literally just drank my pink drink every single day from October 2015. That's all I was doing, guys, was just the pink drink. Okay? We were making an average of $750 a month. Um, 2015, 2016, we made like... $15,000 like for the full year. Um, and we were a family with four little kids. Okay. So I was drinking my pink drink every day. And my sponsor was like, Trisha, you should do this. You should do this. Like you're building this Instagram. So yeah, I was building a social media following guys. Cause I wanted to earn money on social newsflash. It does not work unless you have a massive following or unless you spend all day on your phone linking, which I don't want to do. Okay. There are people on our team. Emily was talking about like these Instagram empires. Our newest emeralds have like 300 followers, 300 followers. Okay. You can absolutely do this. Some of um, our new fast start people, they literally just build on Facebook and at the playground. I'm not kidding. Okay. So please don't let this scare you. But I was building an Instagram because I had it in my head that I could make money off of Instagram. Okay. So I was literally crashing because I was so tired every single afternoon from 1 to 3 p.m. And I would scroll my phone. I would scroll my phone. And I would literally just connect with people. I had no product. I had no service. I was just like, I need friends. I'm going to connect with people. So I connected with all these people on Instagram for like two hours a day. Okay? All right. So fast forward to the early 2016. And my sponsor yet again was like, Trisha, let's get on the phone. And I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And we got on the phone. It was April. It was like April 15th of 2016. She and her diamond upline got on the phone with me trying to convince me to work this business. And I told them, no, 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 please stop. I don't want to. Okay. Like how else do I tell you? No. Okay. May 3rd, I messaged my sponsor, guys, April 15th, May 3rd, I messaged her and I was like, I'm all in. I'm all in. Um, you said the first goal is silver. So let's do silver. And like, what's after that, right? I emailed her, you guys, I sent her an email to tell her these are my goals. Like we need to have this be a full-time income, right? So basically what happened between April 15th and May 3rd was that my husband had a property management business and literally within 24 hours, like almost our savings were gone. Okay. But we still had hope that this was going to work within 24 hours. It wasn't going to work anymore. And Matt said to me, Trisha, we need a full-time income. Boom. Okay. So your people that are telling you, no guys, it can change like that. It can change like that. Okay. Literally from May 3rd on, I have not stopped. When I told my sponsor, like I'm all in, I was all in. So um, the second thing Emily asked was, um, why did you take the action to become diamond? So that's kind of that. But then she asked, did I immediately see the vision? So from day one, you guys, these are the three things that I believed. And I want you guys to grab these as your own. Okay. Here are the three things I believed. Number one was I am a hard worker. 
I have what it takes. And if there are things that I don't have, I'm just going to learn them. I'm just going to learn them. I'm going to listen to every podcast. I'm going to read every book. I'm going to watch every single YouTube video. I watched all of Emily's YouTube videos, you guys. I'm not kidding. Watched all of them. So did Marianne. Okay. I was like, Hey, there's this girl on, in, on YouTube that seems to know what she's talking about. I'm going to watch all of her videos. Okay. Watch all of Sarah Taylor, all of Tara Castaneda, all of Sarah Marble. Like I taught myself. Okay. Do not have any excuses in this. You can teach yourself. You can go to the top. Okay. All right. Number one, hard worker. How what it takes? If I don't, I'm going to learn. Number two, if I could, no, if they could, I can. Okay. If they could, I can. So the other thing that I did, guys, you have to understand 2016 for us was like a year of tears. Like literally I was crying like all the time, like every day, like I was crying. I had two miscarriages back to back, completely devastated me. And I was like on the couch for a lot of it. Then I got pregnant again. I was like completely sick as a dog. And every single day I would sit on my couch and I would watch diamond documentaries, diamond documentaries. Okay. You are not watching enough diamond documentaries if you feel like your belief is low. So with that, if they could, I can, I was like, Charlotte seems has 12 kids. She made it to diamond. Bridget Ryan has seven kids. She made it to diamond. Brenda Martin has 11 kids. She made it to diamond. I'm pregnant with number five and I'm sick as a dog and I can make it to diamond. Okay. So if they could, I can. And number three was, and I think this is really important. Okay. Was this very, very simple thing was this has to work. That's it. That's it. This has to work. There is nothing else. Matt was literally on his laptop four hours a day looking for a job. Okay. In our area, he was a mechanical engineer in our area. Like we, we would have to move across the country. I didn't want to move across the country. My family is here. And so I was like, this has to work. If you got up every single day, I I'm being serious. And literally you were like, this is our plan A, plan B, plan C, like all the way down to Z. This has to work. This or nothing. Right. So my first three months, I was like, hey, I've been building all these connections on Instagram. I'm going to message all of them. Okay. I sent out, people are like, Trisha, what messages did you send out? You guys, I sent out like 2000 of this message. Okay. Like, hi, I just joined this gut health company. Would you like to hear about gut health or how to earn $500 a month? 2000, 2000 guys. Okay. And I'm diamond. So like you can start anywhere. All right. So those are the three things I believed. Uh, okay. Emily's next question was, am I a good recruiter, developer, whatever? So I would say that I'm a very, very good recruiter. Okay. Last month I like recruited 13 or 14 or something crazy. Okay. But, but in the last, I would say few years, I have had three mindset shifts. Okay. Please don't waste your time by not having these mindset shifts so many years into your business. Please just have the mind shifts now. Okay. Um, don't wait long as long as I did. So the first one was, I think it was like March of two years ago. I said to myself, what if, what if I changed my mindset on, I can't get people to silver. Okay. Cause I literally would tell people that I would be like, I am such a good recruiter, but I really struggle getting people to silver. I am such a good recruiter, but I, right. What if I stopped saying that? And I, st and I started saying instead, I am so good at getting people to silver. Okay. Since I made that mindset shift, not kidding you guys, two months ago, I literally had five new level one silvers. Okay. Pretty much every single month since then I've had a new level one silver, new level one senior silver, new level one gold, like depending on the month, not every single one, every single month, but I've had level one rank ups all that time. Okay. And it's literally because of a mindset shift that that was my first mindset shift. The second mindset shift was last fall in Hawaii. And I was talking to a few diamonds. We were just sitting by the pool. Um, and one of them happened to say that she talks about the business more than the products. That's it. That's all she said. It wasn't flashy. She was just like, hey, I just talk about the business more than the products. And I started thinking to myself again, what if, what if, okay, because honestly, you guys, I did talk about the business on my way to diamond, but I really got to at least Emerald on basically side by sides, side by side testimonies alone. And it got me to Emerald. Okay. But I was like, what if I talked about the business more than the products? So I got home from Hawaii and I, I flip-flopped it. That's what I did. Okay, so do it, guys. Just do it and tell your teams to do the same. People are always like, oh, Trisha, how do I get business builders? I'm like, 
How often are you talking about the business? Okay. All right. And number three is, number three is, is that I changed the voices in my head. Okay. So I want you guys to really like evaluate the people that you've been listening to because I literally just changed who I was listening to on the daily. So the guy that spoke at our Ruby's retreat, his name, his handle is Daniel G. Okay. Literally, literally. Okay. Um, my love, I think she's my level two. She was a stuck gold Ruby, maybe back slidden down to a hundred points. She literally started watching this guy's reels every single day changed the voices in her head. And she went senior Ruby last month, senior Ruby last month with a fast start senior Ruby below her, fast start Ruby below her, fast start senior goals below her. Like their team like literally exploded because she changed the voices in her head. Okay. There's a podcast I listen to almost every single day. Maybe you guys have heard of her. Her goal is $1.4 million a month a month. She is the number one earner network marketer in the entire world. She has sold almost $1 billion in network marketing sales. Her name is Jessie Lee. So if you guys are not listening to her, listen to her. She has a podcast. She has an Instagram. Okay. She actually was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Um, and like, she might die. She might die. Okay. And her passion and her fuel, a doctor told her you're going to be dead by October. I'm telling you, change the voices in your head. Okay. When I send voice messages now, okay. Before I send the voice message, I think to myself, I literally put myself into how would, how would someone else say these words? Okay. Because if it was just like Trisha, just being nice, right? Like, oh, of course I can jump on and change your subscription for you. Oh, of course I can hold your hand and do all these things where I feel like if you take on this like new sense of confidence, you are going to talk differently and you're going to attract a different kind of person. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what was the last thing was people will feel your energy. People will feel your energy and they will feel your confidence. They will feel it from you. Okay. Um, confidence is a skill. Just watch the Mel Robbins reel about that. Confidence is a skill. People are like, Oh, Emily, you're so confident, right? We can be confident too. Okay. It is a skill. And it's literally almost like a coat that you put on. Okay. All right. So who's going to stop like stop just putting on the jacket and put on a full blown coat, right? All right. The last thing I wanted to say was that, and I got this from Daniel G and I'm going to leave you guys with this. Okay. Be honest with yourselves. When people come to your Facebook or when people come to your Instagram, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously asking you guys to be honest. Okay. Are you the kind of person that when people come to you, they think to themselves, this person can get me to my goals. This person can get me to hit, to, to go from here to there. This person can help me lose 35 pounds. This person could actually help me make a full-time income. Be honest with yourself. And that's all I've got. Ooh, I was trying to type a flame emoji because I, I couldn't catch up. Like, did she not just take y'all to Plexus church? I mean, why is the chat so quiet? Is it because you're taking notes? <laughs> I just see a bunch of heads and pencils writing and like, lots of this, like head shakings. And like, um, you have some other diamonds that are on here that are just like beaming with pride for you, Trisha. Like, we're just like, that's our friend. Like, yes. So what did we just learn? We just learned. Let's recap real quick. I like a good recap. Number one, she said, I'm a hard worker. I have what it takes. If I don't have it, I can learn it. Oh my gosh. Do we not teach our children that? Do we not do this when we go get a job? Did you know how to flip burger patties when you worked that first server job? You sure did not. You sure did not. You didn't even know you had to have non-slip shoes in the back, right? You have to learn the things. And this is a do and then learn industry. L grasp that. If you don't hear anything else tonight, grasp that. You do, and then you figure it out. Oh, did that work? Did that not work? Let's assess, right? I love that she said those affirmations. And if everyone try that affirmation on, I am a hard worker. I have what it takes. If I don't have it, I can learn it. Okay. Number two, if they could, I can. That was my mindset. I'm so glad you shared that. I watch Diamond Docs every single day. That's probably what I said in one of my YouTubes that Trisha watched was watch a freaking Diamond documentary. Because if that doesn't make you believe in yourself or another mom for like five seconds, then you don't have a heart because they are so inspirational. And there's literally a personality, a person, a dude, a girl, like 
all shapes, all sizes, all colors in those diamond documentaries that you can, someone in, in there you can relate to. And if they can do it, so can I, right? It's that confidence. It's a skill that you, it's a muscle. You got to work and flex. And then I put three was message people about plexes and gut health, but I think you were still talking about if they could, I can. So her real three was change the voice in your head to I can. Um, you guys know this. I talk about this all the time. We have a rule in my house. We do not say I can't. When my child is frustrated and they throw themselves down or they throw their shoe across the living room because they can't untie a knot or Scarlett gets stuck in one of her princess dresses and can't get out or my sports bra, I'm stuck in my sports bra after a sweaty workout. It feels freaking impossible. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? And you just like, I can't. Like you, that's that little tiny voice in your head. Well, use your big voice, your Trisha voice. Now we're going to use our Trisha voice and say, I have what it takes. I am a hard worker. If I don't know how, I can learn how, right? And you can. I love Daniel G. I was really skeptical about him at first because he kind of just like yells a lot. But what I learned is he has a very big personality, just like me. And I just had to pivot and listen. He's very, very good at sales. If you suck at sales and recruiting, he is going to make you believe in yourself like nobody's business. Definitely give him a follow. Love that you brought him up. Um, Jesse Lee Ward is the number one network marketer in the world. She's been with multiple companies. And this last one is the one where she applied everything she's ever learned in one place, took her to the top of the company, took that company to a billion dollar company. And now she makes a million dollars a month in network marketing. What? You guys, you know, that's possible with Plexus, right? Our compensation plan allows that. It's just you and your way. I'm just saying, just you and your way. And lastly, she said, be honest with yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you so much. If you need to go, you're more than welcome to hop off, but just thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. I'm going to wrap this up with some leadership strategy. Hashtag get on the boat, get on the boat. Um, if you did not know, oh, uh, Trisha, they want to know your senior Ruby's name, your new girl. Is it Juliana or Julian or Julie? I don't know. I just go, I just know her Instagram handle. I don't know her real name. Okay, we have three new senior rubies last month. One is named Juliana, and I don't actually remember her last name. It starts with an S. I tag her all the time. Uh, number two is Emily Hayslop, and she has a tiny little Instagram, you guys. It's called Bored and Berry because she also has a charcuterie business. And the number three is a girl who I don't even think has an Instagram, and it's her level one, um, and her name is Cassie, and she has a Facebook, so that's it. Yes. Look for them this Thursday. Look for them on the leaders board. You'll see their names. The cool thing about that, these girls and their stories is this was warm market. This was not cold messaging, although you can totally do that. Uh, this was warm market. This was belly to belly conversations. This was getting on the phone. That's why I put it in all caps. Hashtag get on the phone. I don't know if Vanessa and the other Jenna is on. I did a Zoom with them today and we talked about the number one thing in their business that will stop retention and attrition like nobody's business is getting on the phone. When you sign somebody up and getting them on the phone, calling your VIP on the phone. I know, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't call the cops, okay? It's just a phone call. Calm down, Gen Zers. It's just a phone call. Calm down, millennials. It's not going to hurt you. You know what's funny, though? If you ask a five-year-old today to talk on the phone, they do this. They don't do this. And that's so funny. I love what Jason Dorsey taught us last year at convention that the generational gaps. Okay. Back to leaders retreat. Thank you for answering that question. We will get there, get you their names and their Instagram handles. You can follow them. But let me tell you something. They're they're no different than you. They just believe that they can, and then they are doing because they believe that they can. So leaders retreat strategy. You guys, um, I took, I went and dug up some old notes from leaders retreat in the past and things that I was doing and like trying to remember and maybe something that I learned for myself because you know, you know, you need twelve hundred fifty credits to get on the freaking boat. We know that. We know we have to enroll people. Yes, hopefully you know that. We know that we have to help our people enroll people. That, that step, that duplication, the hashtag get on the phone, get on the boat, right? Get on the phone with them. Here's why you get on the phone with them. One, it creates a personal connection. And then that allows for additional accountability. Because, hey, remember on the phone when you told me that your dad is really sick and, you know, your mom already passed away and we just really need to work on this so that you can provide money and you can care for your dad or whatever that looks like. Right. Or, Hey, remember on the phone when you told me that you really want to put your, your daughter in private school, but there's just no way in H AG double hockey sex that's happening right now. Well, did you know you can supplement that income with your plexus income? You can build it to the amount that you need. Like you can do that. Hey, did you, you remember that phone conversation? Get on the phone with them. 
things happen on the phone. Things happen on Zooms like this, where you have moments of belief and goosebumps. You know, it's kind of like when you go to church camp for the first time and you're like, I love Jesus. And then you get home and you listen to Lil Wayne. You know what I'm talking about? You're like, I love Jesus. And then you're like, oh, I forgot, <clears throat> right? It's kind of like that with leaders retreat. You get on these Zooms, you're doing the things, you're hyped up by the diamonds. And then you get off Zoom and your husband's annoyed that you were on your phone and your baby wakes up and you have all the things, okay? It's the voices in your head. It's okay to handle your family. It's okay to compromise with your spouse. It's okay to want leaders retreat and to want to get on the boat. You are allowed and you are so capable of getting on that boat. I just want you to know that. I had a very skeptical spouse. I understand. He told me I was never going to a convention or a leaders retreat. I've been to all of them, but one. Okay. I get it. Just pray for their heart. That's the only thing you can do. You can't change their mind. They have to do it themselves. So let's talk about some things. I love, love, love that Trisha said, be honest with yourself. Are you going to take that person to the next level? Are you going to help them hit their goals? Like, let's reflect. Let's look at our Instagram. Let's look at our Facebook or wherever your social selling. Let's clean up our conversations. So the first thing that I wrote down in my notes was humility. You cannot do this alone. You have to learn how to work with others. Or as you know, it's one of my favorite words is be coachable. You do not know it all. I do not know it all. But if you can learn something new and apply a new skill, why not learn that, right? Like if your business has not grown, if your paycheck has not grown, you ain't doing something right. Newsflash, just saying, like, let's, let's be humble. What's that song? Sit down, be humble sit down. Like that's what we're doing on these zooms. We're sitting down, we're taking the notes and we're going to be humble. Okay. Second thing is let's, let's, let's analyze our servanthood. Kind of like Bob Heilig, you know, is it a transactional thing or a relational thing? Are we going to that person with intentions of strengthening the relationship or just immediate transaction? I just need your money. I need your money. I need the sale. I am 17 orders from gold and I need it. You will make me 16 orders away. Like where is your thought process when you're going to have a conversation? Serve them with the things aside from, hey, I just thought of this song lyric. You want to buy Plexus? You know what I mean? Here's something that I'm doing that you can apply to your business right now. I have a lot of extra active and hydrate in my house at all times. I have lots of sports and gymnastics. I mean, that's the season of life I'm in. So not looking in my counter and thinking I'm never going to get through this stash that I have. I got with my assistant and I was like, hey, let's go look at people in our downline that have 50 to 99 PB and go offer them a sample of hydrate and active. Now, these are my level ones. I'm not going through all 100 levels of people. These are specifically level ones in that 50 to 99 PB. It's going to take you, it's a day's worth of work, you know, or a week worth, depending on how much time you're allowing. I set a timer for one hour. I go through my list. I get out the samples and the little cute bubble mailers that I got on Amazon for like $10. And I'm sending them a stack, a, a stick of active and a stick of hydrate when they reply to the email or the text message or the Facebook message that I send. I'm like, hey, thank you so much for being such a loyal customer. I see that you've been on ProBio5 and BioCleanse for five years. They are some of our best sellers. I love that you love them. Have you ever tried active and hydrate? We have a new replenish combo that is all drinks, no capsules. Have y'all seen it? It's slim, lean, and hydrate or active. You can pick which one you want. <gasps> love it. Riley's over there like, oh, yes, I know. We love the drink combo, okay? Here's the thing. They don't know. They, they ain't getting the emails. They opted out of those emails back in 2017. You have to tell your people the things. So go offer them a sample. And here's the thing. What if they love it? Oh, great. Add a twin pack to your order. Boom. They are now at 100 PB, Right? You have to do that work. And here's the thing. Maybe you're like, oh my gosh, I'm really excited about doing that. I don't have to think about my Facebook posts for a week. I can go connect with people. Great. Go do that. Servanthood. Lead from the heart. Serve from the heart. And, you know, get your money's worth. It is a business write-off to send samples in this industry. Okay. All right. Next up, I wrote down the word consistency. Do not exit this Zoom. Let me just finish this. And I know we're five minutes over. I'm going to wrap this up. Words don't always do justice for your fears. This consistency is not about products. This consistency is about your actionable items that you're doing. And the reason you're not doing them is because you're afraid. 
You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of failure. You're afraid of success. You're afraid of judgment. You have to ask yourself, go back to that humility and self-awareness. Am I afraid? Am I afraid? Or am I worried? Or am I like, think about that for a minute. And then now we have an affirmation. Thank you, Trisha. Now you can go and say that affirmation to yourself when you're like, you know what? I am afraid. I am avoiding this blank, fill that in, you know, whatever. And then you can tell yourself, I am a hard worker. I have what it takes. And I'm going to learn how to do this better. I'm going to go listen to Daniel G for 25 minutes on my commute to work. Or while I'm rocking the baby, you put the AirPods in, you pat that baby's butt and you let Daniel G yell at you and make you feel like you are worth a million bucks, right? Whatever that looks like for you. I'm a hard worker. I have what it takes. If I don't, I can learn how, okay? I just love that so much, Trisha. Thank you for sharing that. And then lastly, belief. Yeah, Diamond Docs will make you believe in Plexus. Sure, sure. But the best leaders don't just believe in Plexus. They don't just believe in the products. They don't just believe in the comp plan. You know what they believe in? Themself. The best leaders believe in themselves and their team. It's not a matter of I can. It's a matter of I know I will. I know I will. I will be on that boat. I've seen Caitlin Kerr say that in our group chat probably 10 times since this contest was announced. And I love that because I'm like, yes, you, yeah, you will, girl. Yeah, you will. I was talking to Diamond Sarah Marble. She's like, I'm going to be on that boat. She knows it. She knows she's doing what it takes, right? There are many people out there who are so disappointed in their life and they think that things are never, ever going to change and that they're just stuck on this hamster wheel and that it is what it is. I hate that. You know, sometimes, yes, it is what it is and it's out of my control. I've learned that. Thank you, therapy. But almost 90% of the other, it isn't, that isn't how it is. That's just your thought. That's a feeling. It's not a fact. As a leader, and you're a leader if you have a customer, okay? As a leader, level one leader, but you're a leader. As a leader, we have the ability to come alongside, remind them of their potential, remind ourselves of our potential, and we get to show up and be who we are and who we want to be because everything hinges on that, that, that leadership, right? So let's focus on people first to get on the boat because then the success will come. If you like, there's a song by the band Kane. They are a, a conservative Christian group, but they make some great music. And it's, it, the song is called people need people. And I love this song because God did not in, create us to be alone. He created man. And then he created a woman because man was lonely. There's also a Morgan wall and song called man made a bar. And they talk about that too, but I like the Christian song a little better. Okay. So the Kane song, the main chorus is People need, people need, people need people. I'm singing to you tonight, but it's so true. And I, my kids are singing that when they're playing. And I think about when I'm like, go away, mommy's working, go away. And they're like, I just want to be by you, right? Do you have kids? Do they do that? They just want to be near you. Sometimes they just lean on you or they just touch you. And then they like fall asleep sitting up. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes it's your spouse. Sometimes it's just a friend who's constantly texting you. And you're like, dang, this girl's needy. People need people. You are in a people business. If you don't want people need people in your life, I don't know if this business is for you. I'm just saying. People need people and you have what people need. Yourself, Lexus, and a badass compensation plan that is limitless. You can make whatever kind of money you want to make if you're willing to try and do the work. So who's going to get on that boat? Put it in the chat. I'm going to be on the boat. I know I will be on the boat. I need to see it. I need you to type it. I need you to believe in yourself for five seconds. I will be on the boat. Let's do it. I'm going to take a picture of everybody. It's what I do every Tuesday. In case you were wondering, look, it's on my Instagram. I will be on the boat. There it is. Jenna, Caitlin, Abby, Riley, Carol, Ashlyn. Yes, 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 yes. Angela, Lexi, Brooke. Yes, 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 yes. Whitney, Vanessa, Jennifer. Zoom user, I don't know who you are, but you're so cute, whoever you are. You just don't have your name on. Ashley, you guys, we will be on that boat. And here's the thing. I don't just want us on the boat. There is a top 50 spot that gets upgraded to captain suites. And I asked Instagram about getting on the boat. And they were like, girl, if you can be on the top deck, those top 50 spots can be 
available to those. There's 36 of you. There you go. 36 out of 50 spots claimed tonight. We can do it. Just a little pivot, right? Just like a little ounce of belief. Just like you tell your child, you can hit that home run. So can you, mom. So can you. There ain't nothing in your way, but another skill that you might have to learn or work on a little bit. Thank you guys so much for getting on. This recording will be available tomorrow. I love you guys and I hope you have a great week. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Trisha. Apply what you learned tonight. Don't just sit on it. Don't just keep thinking. You have to apply right away, right, right now while it's fresh. Y'all have a great week. Love you. Bye.